My name is Nadia Colburn and I want to share with you some yoga and meditation and a writing prompt so that you can bring together mind and body. I believe that when we bring together mind and body, we can tap into our full story and connect with our true creativity and vitality. And if you want to see more about what I have to offer and other videos, you can go to NadiaColburn.com. I always love to hear from you. So today I want to start with a short meditation. Come to a comfortable seated position. You can either be sitting on the floor or in a chair. Feel how your weight is supported. You can straighten your spine, relax your shoulders, maybe come out of a hunched position. Take a nice deep breath, relax your brow, relax your jaw, and take a few breaths here, bringing your attention to your breath. If your thoughts wander, try to catch them and come back to the breath. And today I want to do something a little bit different. As you're sitting in meditation, I'm going to read you a poem. This is from the Tao Te Ching, translated by Stephen Mitchell. And just let the poem come into your ears. You don't need to try to understand it with your rational mind. Just let it be like the rain falling on you. The Tao doesn't take sides. It gives birth to both good and evil. The master doesn't take sides. She welcomes both saints and sinners. The Tao is like a bellows. It is empty, yet infinitely capable. The more you use it, the more it produces. The more you talk of it, the less you understand. Hold on to your center. And stay in the seated position reconnecting to your breath. Feeling that breath travel through your central channel down into your belly and up and down again into your center. And take a nice, long, deep inhale, suspending the breath, letting it circulate inside of you, and then <sighs> nice exhale. Today I'm going to lead you in a few core strengthening exercises. So the core is so important. It's our center. And whether you have strong muscles or not isn't really what's important. What's important is that you're bringing your mind to your core, to that center. So even if you don't want to do these exercises, if you just bring your mindful attention to them, you can watch them, you can imagine doing them, that has a really strong effect as well. Um, there have been ex uh, scientific studies that show actually mindfully imagining doing um, bicep exercises for the same amount of time as another group was actually doing the exercises with their arms, that first group that was just imagining it had significant muscle mass increase just from the power of their mind. So what we're doing here is we're tuning into that core strength, those lower chakras, and that's where our security is, our will is, and also our creativity. So as people who go out into the world, whether we're writers or artists or activists or parents or lovers or teachers, it doesn't matter what we do, business people, we need to have that grounding within us so that we can stay centered even as we go out. Okay, so we're going to start with something that's really challenging. It's called stretch pose. And as I said, 
you can just build up to this. We're going to try it for one minute. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to lie on your back. You're going to bring your legs about six inches off the floor, and you're going to bring your shoulders um, and your head as well off the floor. Kind of bring your arms in with some tension. So it's going to be like this. Okay? If you want to modify, you can keep your head on the floor and just have the arms up. Or you can have them both. If you need to modify, you can also bend one leg. That really modifies it a lot. Or, of course, just come in and out of the pose. We're going to try to do this for one minute. So I'm going to set my timer here. And we're going to begin. See if you can feel that core. If you feel your body shaking, that's really healthy. It's your central nervous system resetting. Nice, long, deep breaths. You can do it. You're halfway there. You're more than halfway there. This is so powerful, and it builds with time. Ten more seconds. See if you can find your ease even in the discomfort. And inhale, and let go. And just relax completely, letting the ground support you. You might want to bring your hand to your chest, your hand to your navel center, and feel that pulse. When you're ready, we can, I'm going to lead you in one more really strengthening exercise today. So this is a challenging little set that I'm doing. It's going to be frog pose. So we're going to stand up. We're going to come on tippy toes like this with our, um, actually we'll come to squatting position with our heels, touching. We're going to look up, and then we're going to come up, and then come back down. And you can do any modification of this as you want. We can try to do 13 or 26. And I'll just do 13 now. If you want to keep going, you can. Okay? And as you build up, you might want to do 26 or even 52. You can always stop the video and keep going and then start again when you're done. And then catch your breath. And after you've moved, you're in a really different place to come to your writing or to come to any creative project because your mind is not in the same place that it was when it started. So Einstein said, you can't solve problems with the same thinking that created those problems. And when we start to move, we can tap into different parts of our creativity, different parts of our mind, different parts of our story, and bringing the mind and the body together in our creative process is very, very powerful. So I invite you to see what it's like to take five or ten minutes to write after doing these core strengthening exercises. Frog is a workout for the entire chakra system and for that core creative center as well. And if you want some prompts, I'm going to give you a few words from 
the poem that I read earlier. Sides, master, bellows, produces, understand, and center. What story is at your center? What story from that center wants to be told? Thank you.